Welcome back. Let's turn to today's good news today story. It's an interesting one because the tiny country of New Zealand, well, tiny to the extent of about 5 million people, defeated billion plus India. After two consecutive ODI World Cup finals, New Zealand are test champions. The Kiwis lifted the ICC test maze yesterday after beating India by eight wickets. It's a fairy tale story for a country that's always been so near and yet so far. The nice guys of cricket, led by Kane Williamson, defeated mighty Team India for their first major ICC tournament victory in more than two decades. I'm joined by a very special guest. He's about to fly off back to New Zealand. Joining me now, New Zealand's cricket team chief coach, Gary Steed. Appreciate your joining us, Gary. First of all, congratulations. Remarkable victory, uh, Gary. And uh, has it all sunk in that New Zealand are world test champions? Um, I'm not sure if it has really sunk in yet. Uh, we we had a had a enjoyable night last night, just oh, enjoying sorry, everyone's company here at, back at the the team hotel, and um, we're we're very very happy and and I guess excited for for what it's done for I think cricket in New Zealand as well. Am I allowed to ask you, Gary, uh, how you celebrated in COVID times? I know you went straight from the stadium to the hotel, which is located inside the ground, so I. Trust you celebrated in true Kiwi style. So give us a sense of what you did. Yeah, we, we certainly had a few uh, beers and drinks with each other, but it was only the team that was together. And, and um, so we stayed in the dressing room there for, for a couple of hours and headed back to our team room here at the hotel. Um, and then today it all changes quickly. So our, our bags have gone and we're just about ready to head off to the airport soon and, and head back to New Zealand. You know, I, I just wanted to ask you also, winning this tournament, what does this mean for a country like New Zealand, Gary? You're a lovely country, rugby crazy country. Cricket has never matched the All Blacks popularity. Is that going to change the moment you land in New Zealand as a result of this victory? Uh, I suspect at the moment that even though it's the middle of rugby season that there's a lot of talk about cricket and that always that makes me smile when um, you know that the effort that's gone in behind the scenes and, and we're very very I guess fortunate to have the players that we have in our group right now we have some real world-class players who, who have stood up on the biggest stage and, and, and I guess um, to win tournaments like this and especially test match tournaments against a, a, an amazing Indian side as well is what's very, very, I guess, special to us. But, you know, this is uh, special because it's, uh, we've, uh, it was, you told me before the match, David versus Goliath. So what makes a country of five million people defeat a country, of, a cricket crazy country of a billion plus? What did David really do this time to defeat Goliath in this test, Gary? When, when you get down to, um, I guess, a two-horse race where there's only two, two people starting, well, you both have a chance. And, and I guess it's taken a lot of hard work before then to even get to the stage. And it's something I know as a team we were very proud of um, is actually making the final in itself. It's, it's tough to do. And we certainly recognise, I guess, the strength of India um, but we also, I guess, understand our own strengths really well and, and we decided, even even in this game, to, to not play a spinner um, because of the weather conditions and things like that. And I'm just really proud, of, I think, of the, the way that our people stuck to the task that was given to them and the roles that have been given to them. And I think of just, um, yeah, they've that, that performed that, those roles exceedingly, exceedingly well and, and I just won small moments in the match as well. What was for you the turning point, uh, Gary, in this game? Was there a moment when you felt we have a chance now? Did it change with the weather conditions? Uh, which were more New Zealand-like? Did it change with Kyle Jameson's bowling? Was there an X factor turning point? Well, I think I think all options of, of win, loss, and draw was still open going into the last day. And uh, for me, I, I think getting Virat and, and, and Pujara early in the day um, certainly increased our chances and probably. Um, gave us the hope that, hey, yeah, we could do this. Um, uh, we, we knew there were still other people we needed to get through and, and it was going to be a, a tough little chase at the end of the day. But I, I guess for us, just very, very happy that we held our nerve in the situation as well. And we've had a few World Cup finals, I guess, in the last um, five or six years that 
we've 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 got to the end and haven't quite necessarily got over the line so that's what i think is is, is more pleasing for our players in this that's situation. exactly what i was going to ask you gary you know does this make up in a way for the agony of lords two years ago when the world cup was uh, we thought you deserved to be world cup champions lost out in the end on a strange boundary count rule does this make up in a small way for what you lost that day at lords I, I guess in a small way it does, but I mean we, we sort of harbour no grudges about what happened in, in that game. You you have to learn to get on with it, and 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 I think it's a slightly different group of players that we do have here. But I, I think it makes it easier to perhaps um, let that game go now that we hadn't won a, a World Cup event or anything like this, and now we have. So I think it probably just makes it a little bit easier to. Yeah, to let let the game of 2019 sort of go into the past and the distance. You know, you you produced you produced some great players, the likes of Sir Richard Hadley, Martin Crowe. But is this the greatest New Zealand Test side in your view? Mm, I'm not really sure. That's my position to to say that. And I always find it very very hard to compare eras to eras because you, you said a couple of great names there that would no doubt fit into any New Zealand side that we've ever had. Um, what I will say is I know that the guys here um, are, are extremely committed to, to playing for New Zealand and playing the best cricket they can. And maybe in five, ten years' time, we'll look back on the, the era of this players and say they were that. Um, I'm just not sure it's the right time to be saying that right now. I want to talk about two players, uh, Gary. One was Kyle Jameson, the man of the match. World is wowed by him. His test average is the best for any bowler who's taken 40 test wickets. He seems a giant of a man, a gentle giant. Yeah, lo lovely guy uh, as well. Um, works very, very hard on his game and I guess has made every close to the winner in his, in his international career so far. Um, he certainly, from his test match perspective, uh, has some tools that other people don't have with his, I guess, extra height, which creates the bounce that he gets as well. He, he bowls quick enough. He's not expressed by any means, but he bowls quick enough to trouble the best players in the world. Um, and he's got amazingly amazing control of uh, the the ball to be able to swing it both ways. So he certainly has a, a number of skills. The thing I really like about Kyle the most, though, is he's always willing to try and improve and keep getting better. And I think that's a great a attribute to have. And, and the other person I want to say a word on, uh, or I'd like you to say a word on, is Kane Williamson. He's one of my favourite cricketers. Plays the game with such remarkable calm. Captain Hyderabad to IPL glory. Huge fan following in India. Just want to understand, is he finally proof that nice guys do finish first? Is that is this team modelled in a way in the image of Williamson, nice guys who play tough? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's not something we talk about. We, we, we just talk about being good people and Kane certainly epitomises that. I mean, he's loved all around the world and I know Indian fans and, and people love Kane Williamson as well, as, as much as we do in New Zealand. Um, and that's that's because I think of the person he is and, and the cricketer becomes second after that. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess as a team, that's important to us. Um, it's important we play in the right spirit uh, and it's important that we do, I guess, go out and, and fight hard for each other in the way that we play. A final question, the, you know, the Indian team or the captain Virat Kohli seems to believe that next time the World Test Championship should be a best of three finals, not a one-off. Do you agree that maybe a better way would be to decide this tournament by a best of three? Mm, I, I've thought a little bit about it. I'm, I'm a little bit, I guess, unsure on, on which way to go. I like the idea of um, multiple matches, uh, the way that, that Virat has talked about it, and I think um, that's a great idea. I guess the hard thing is, is, is how you fit that into a calendar that's all uh, so congested as well. Um, and so finding you probably need a month of, of time to, to fit that in would be very difficult. So, um, yeah, I, I guess it's something that will be discussed around the ICC table. It's something that ultimately they, they can make decisions on with their cricket committee as well. Gary Steed, you've taken time off. I know you have to fly off uh, back to New Zealand. Uh, have a safe trip back home. Wonderful uh, achievement by the team of New Zealand. If there's any team we in India would like to be defeated by in a way, it's the Kiwis, not the Aussies. So thank you very much for joining me uh, uh, there, Gary.
and the best to you from Southampton.